was that a scene from The Shining? The blood was like... Uh, they said I'd never talk again. Yeah, they did. Charlie used to eat books. <laughs> like, are you just... <laughs> I, I actually met Charlie when I was three. Really? Mm. Oh. Didn't you tell him that? Oh, sorry. If I, he's, he's, if I tr he's, tread he's, on He's three years older than I Oh, fuck <laughs> me! <laughs> Jordan, are you all right? True Geordie is the Bowser of straight men for gays to try and crack. He looks a bit Bowser. He does look a bit Bowser, doesn't he? Put a shell on the guy. It was an itty with itty teeny bitty yellow pocket up bikini. Oh, what a tune. I'll say now, because it's all good, right? I genuinely thought to myself when I see you, I was like, you could that could be cancer or something. A couple hours left. Yeah. And mum said that you had to be put on a resuscitation machine. So what happened then? Yeah, the ambulance turned up and sent me straight to A&E. Resus for five hours. A lot of YouTubers fuck a lot of weird things, don't they? Yeah. Like James Charles, he's fucked his career. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're a cunt. <laughs>Oh, you maybe saying... we should drop it then. Wow. <laughs> you, are, you are not in the same category as Ian Wright. <laughs> Don't ever think uh, that. You hit like what, 8K, 9K on Twitter? Ego. <laughs> Who else is here today? Are you on, are you on 8, 9K on Twitter? Mm -hmm. He's doing all right, yeah, you know. Yeah. know. That's because I'm hilarious. Just, Jordan's here as well. Um, yeah. How you right. doing? Not too bad. We've had a little oh. bit of a break. I know the people on iTunes and, and that might not know that. Yeah. But we, we we've been away for what? A month? Three weeks? A month? Yeah. Quite a bit away. We a had while. some stockpiled and that. But we're yeah. back and we've got a good guest, a big guest, um, a guest very close to me, a, a guest that I'm actually related to. It's um, actually, I think it's the first relative I've had on the podcast. It's my sister, Charlie. Hello there. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. I know you're a little bit nervous. You're not really from this world. Um, I remember when we were kids, you used to absolutely hate being in my videos mm -hmm. what, <laughs> yep. what what made you want to come on and do this because you actually were at a wedding on friday for uncle tommy and you asked me to come on the podcast so come on i yeah. think it was watching the one with dad which made me want to mm. join the podcast right it's okay interesting nice to watch back yeah so what what do you do then for those out there that don't know funny question uh, i'm a technician yeah. i work in a retail store so yeah. she can't she can't actually say what she does so oh. oh, it's not that exciting. One of those. <laughs> yeah, one of your. That's my Stevie. thing. Get your own. <laughs> we've we've never revealed what Stevie does on here. Do you know what he does? I wouldn't. Um, no, I don't. You don't know. <laughs> don't That's know. even better. Right. I want to go. I want to talk about. There's a lot of people in this room that know me very well. Yeah. But none as much as you. Obviously, we grew up together. We lived together. We're the same blood. Um, what was it like being a kid and being? Related to me, basically. What was it like growing up? I've got nice memories. Have you? Up. Yeah, I think I think we were quite close. We were gone the majority of the time. I I all my memories are, are us fighting. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of memories of me hitting you. And oh, then, I can uh, see that. You're the victim. Apology notes under the door when I went when I went a little too far. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You're like six foot four. Oh <laughs> Steve, I haven't always been six foot four. Right? <laughs> what? <Yeah. When> Seven <laughs> years old, <laughs> six foot four. <laughs> Jeez, well, you <laughs> when I, no, I, I have memories of because you know when you're a kid you you fight yes do you know what I mean yes. like now I couldn't if I hit her now yeah yeah we're, that's not yeah. good for your She'd public still win. image mate. <laughs> that, that's daddy 05 shit that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, if yeah if yeah. I hit her now yeah she would still win but as a kid you used to beat me up quite hard yeah do you remember yeah. what part of the, the the hand you used to use the fist yeah, oh. the hammer fist. He used to oh, come oh. down on the head, like oh. a, on the head on top. Yeah, ah. fucking hell. Yeah, and, yeah. and and Vicious. and right. So you, you'll probably, if you listen on iTunes and Spotify, you're not going to get this right. Who done this as a kid? Right, you two can describe what I'm doing. Okay, who I'll done do this? The as audio a kid? description. Right, he's 
He's kicking, he's kicking <laughs> severely. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? and, then, and then you can't get near him. You cannot get it's near like him. It's like windmill kicks. Yeah, yeah. defensive flutter. Windmill yeah. kicks, but I'm sort of... Windmill uh, fists. Yeah. Boo, boo, boo. It's like Thor's hammer coming down on What had you Jesus. done that made her Not much. be that angry towards you? Not much. Not much. I think I was just a cool guy. And some oh, she <laughs> wanted to right. fist. So it was, je- so it was jealousy. <laughs> I know we're oh, from Norfolk, yeah, Stevie. I, I was I wondering, wondering how long, how long, it, long would t- it would take till Ian Bread. I know. Uh, I mean, we usually finish. Well, we sometimes finish on Twitter questions, and I tweeted saying that you were coming on, and a lot of the question, a lot of the questions were like Norfolk inbreeding sex questions. So we're probably well, not. We, yeah, we might not do do that uh, segment. Don't want to let people know about that, or no? Oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bastard. Yeah, what? So, so actually, so you were assaulted quite a lot as a child, By and you were a saltee. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. What? Okay. Is that thing? Is racket? that the term? I don't huh? know. The swing ball racket, the really thick one. Oh. What? what? Everyone knows a good swing ball racket. I think you saw you saw stars with that one. What oh, was yeah. was that? Yeah. Was that the blue one? Blue thick one. In the, the crescent cr- at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, and you whacked me with that. Really hard. See, I, I seem to think it was a, a cricket bat. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with you two? Swing what? Ball. We were why would ball. we play cricket? <laughs> That's just a question for life, really. Why would why did you bother? I used to love cricket. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I loved cricket. I was filming with a couple of England cricket players the other day. What are their names? Um, Owen Morgan. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Johnny Bairstow and Jason Roy. I think they didn't eat, they weren't even bothered by cricket. We, they didn't even know their names. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I, I did um, forget one of their names on the shoot. Oh, and um, how was that? I was so nervous. I was trying to like constantly recite the names in my head. And then for one of the takes, because it was a proper production, which yeah. I'm not too used to, but I went and um, Owen oh. forgot your name like that. And then <laughs> I went back home, and my mate who plays cricket, he was like, he's kind of like the messy of. Of cricket, oh, no. and I was like, no. <laughs> so oh my god! Imagine if I'd sit there and I was with Messi and Ronaldo, and Lionel. I went, Lionel. Um, <laughs> fuck, forgot your name. I'd look like such a mug, such a oh. mug. But no, going back to you, Charlie. Um, as you're here, we may as well. Um, you said that we had a good relationship. I think so. GBH aside, <laughs> 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 what what was some of your fondest memories growing up? I don't have to be involved in them, but what as a kid growing up, you've had some good times. What 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 sticks out to you? I think Florida. I remember Florida quite vividly. Mm. That was a big one. You broke. I broke my ankle on my on my. Leg. That sounds like what? a great what? holiday. Yeah, what is it with people breaking about. things on holiday? So common for people yeah. to break stuff Show on holiday. Me. Was it your ankle? I think so. Or not your arm. No, it's definitely a lower lower limb. Limb. void of difference there. I'm so <laughs> confused how but you guys again. don't have more of an understanding over um, what happened. If you break a bone, you remember it, surely. Yeah, but she was a kid. Yeah. And also, swing ball racket cricket bat. <laughs> so there's going to be some differentiation yeah. of... Yeah, are you two related? <laughs> she start from the beginning. We are, but we're quite different. Oh, we're quite different people. We've we've kind. Of, I I think we're closer now than we were when we were kids. Because I think we think the same. What about? Life, things, people, mm. morals. Yeah, I know. I think I know what you think when I'm looking at you. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. If someone I enters would. the room, you know. And oh, what? So, because you're someone that I think is quite. I know I am as well, but you're quite judgmental. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. <laughs> I made a career out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because someone can walk in the room and she'd be like, like this random woman could be like, oh, hello, and Charlie be like, hello. And then her head, I know that Charlie's thinking, yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that when people that say that? hello to me. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Says a lot. You yeah, it does. You um you broke your leg in America. You went missing with Jamie, remember that? Yeah, I went missing <laughs> in America and I ended up yeah. I was this was two weeks after nine eleven mm. and we, we flew oh, to America. We were the first flight out, weren't we? Huh? We tried to cancel but we couldn't, so we were the first flight out after nine. Yeah, so imagine oh. this, yeah. They they stepped security oh, up. That. Yeah. Best time to go. Best time to go. Because oh, yeah, obviously, yeah, that's a good point, actually. it's probably the safest yeah, time to go. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Yeah, and um, I'll bleep his name, but um, Stephen Dean went with cannabis shoved up his ass. Oh, wow. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you'd mind me saying that? No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, my dad, um, my dad likes a little smoke here and there, and he, he took some up his... He's not doing two weeks in Florida without grandparents, without any. No. 
Nah, so he he, he went the orifice. Yeah, two weeks after that. So, Darren, there we so go. It could have been on America's Most Wanted. Bin Laden, number one, <laughs> two, <laughs> Stephen Dean. <laughs> but I remember you being. I was young. What was I? Uh, eight, I was. So you must have been five. And then you was in a wheelchair for the majority of the holiday. And we'd go around Florida, the parks, and there'd be lots of characters all in there. Get up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jesse, like mascots. Story. My favorite. What? Yeah, Jesse. yeah. Like mascots. Nice. Yeah, and and she would never. Couldn't get out. She, she they would... came to me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh right? yeah, cool. But then she saw me. Jesse from Toy Story and just got up. Was that <laughs> <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're claiming benefit for all. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, I remember I won you that teddy on the on mm. the on the thing. Mm-hmm. Claw machine. See, I, I, I for was, those that are I was, listening. Yeah. I was, I was, oh, yeah. I was, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Audio on the thing, he won him a oh, <laughs> teddy's great. Do you remember? Sorry, but do you remember when we went to Yarmouth? Pointing at Stevie now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> we need to do an audio description. Yeah. We yeah. went to Yarmouth really randomly at like 11 p.m. and I. I went to Jack, I've got a cheat to win on these claw machines. And he went, go on then. And he was vlogging at the time constantly. You you vlogged, you recorded this. And then I won the teddy and he, he put it up online as the cheat to doing it. When there's two right next to each other. Two boxes, two, you mean? Like there's two, two machines. claw machines oh, next right. to yeah, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got, you need to get it into the hole here. Yeah. Normally bottom left. So yeah. the prize but, will be on the bottom left, but on the other one, it'll be on the right. Yes. So there'll be two boxes and then... A, like there's no separator yeah. at the oh, machines. Yeah, yeah. So I'd, I'd use the claw to make it pick it up, but you know what always drops it right at the yeah. top? It drops it, but when it's swinging, it drops it into the machine next to it. Oh. So I'd want it through that, and he was just like, oh this was God. genius. That's just, just mental. You know he can constantly be like, I'm the best at everything, yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. He, he went to me, oh, I'm going to, win this I was like fuck off so I filmed it and he done it and I was like oh I hate that you've done it <laughs> I absolutely hate it but yeah. um, no, going, back, going back to my dad and um, drugs uh, nice. <laughs> do you remember what you said to the teacher at first school oh, yeah, when she was blowing up some balloons yeah, yeah so, a party or, you so, know, it, some sort of reception yeah so there was a teacher at school so my dad called hash I think people do call hash puff yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's right. like a that's like a street term for it. Like, oh, you got any puff, mate? Yeah. And uh, my dad, growing up, I'd always see him like have his little tin where he, he kept all his puff tin, puff tin, like his <laughs> weed in, right? And um, Charlie had she was only little. So this was first school, and the teachers came in for a t- parent review day thing. Well, not a parent review day. They're not <laughs> reviewing the parents. <laughs> uh, um, what was that? It was a school disco. Oh, was it? When she was blowing up balloons. Oh, and then the t- yes. it's a weird time to blow up balloons. <laughs> reviewing your parents, she, just and blowing she was up knackered. balloons. She looked absolutely knackered. So I said, Are "You alright, miss?" And she's like, oh, "More like a puff." So some, <laughs> well, my dad's got loads of. I'll hook you up. I'll, I'll try. And, no then, w- and then when the parents came in, when, oh. well, when my parents came in, she she took them aside and told them like, uh, "So it was she parent review day." Yeah, didn't mind it. She was like. Yeah, enjoyed that one. she actually ended up getting some from him. Yeah, my dad's actually doing eight years. So. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Charlie. Yeah, but no, that was <laughs> that was that was um, that was quite cute because I don't think you were trying to throw him under the bus. You were just like, oh, my dad's got a lot of puff in his tin. And then there was another time <laughs> while we were on like cute stories. I remember um, we lived at my mum's house. My sister had one room, I had the other, as most families work yeah, like that. Yeah. And uh, my dad came up to me. I was just. I just stopped believing in Father Christmas, right? So I was 20 at the time. Uh, <laughs> no, my yeah. voice broke. <laughs> they didn't react at all. You hated it, didn't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was about, I think I was about 10. I don't know. How old are you when you stopped believing in Father Christmas? Eight to 10. Yeah, yeah. I was a bit nerdy. Yeah. Let's say 12. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Charlie's obviously three years younger. She was probably about seven. And um, my dad came up and he was like, we are both of our windows looked at, out into the back garden and uh, he came up and he went right he, he had a full father Christmas outfit on and he's like look Jack I'm going to leave out the back door it's Christmas Eve I think I'm going to leave out the back door In we had a gate that just went somewhere so he's like I'm going to go out the gate and <laughs> you've got to get Charlie to look just as I'm leaving he's got the sack over his shoulder like that and um so I was like, all right, that'd be quite cool. So just, he made the signal. So I went through. He said, Charlie, look out the window, look out the window. So she's gone up and she's like, oh, wow, like that. And it's all like magical and Christmassy. And then he's gone. And then Charlie turned to me and went, Santa's got the same trainers as dad. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Oh, dear. It's weird because I've got a lot of like sort of different memories and stories written down here, but one that's just come to me that I haven't actually got written down. Do you remember? Well, obviously you remember. What about the singing on the... Oh, yeah. Tell us about that. that was a, it's a horrible story, really. I was, must have been about four, three. You remember I this? Know. Just from what people have told me. Oh, okay. And I was singing Teletubbies in on a it's like a puffy, like a, like a stool stand. Yeah, it's called singing. it's called James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Relevant. <laughs> sorry, sorry, straight and, man. Uh, I think I don't know. Someone came into the room, so I turned around, and uh, the hairbrush or the comb went into my mouth, and it cut the roof of my mouth. You, Blood you, just... you fell on it. You, oh. f- you fell. She's going, Tally Tubbies. <laughs> Tally Tubbies. It's an exciting and song. Then, yeah, someone comes, she's turned, fell off the puffy. <laughs> like, uh, cut the back. It was, it was like a scene from The Shining. The blood was uh, like... They said I'd never talk again. Yeah, they did. We went and saw her in Hell. hospital. She was like... Like Darth Sidious. <laughs> Come to the dark side. Like, <laughs> Jeez, that's went, not funny. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. It's funny because she can talk now. So, oh, yeah, 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 true. I can still feel the scar. Can you? Mouth, yeah. Fuck. What's it feel like? Like a skull. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Like braille in your mouth. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> For the audio Braille's listeners, both <laughs> they're both myself. licking the, the roof of their mouth. I started so. doing it just naturally. <laughs> it tickles. I, was like, I can't feel anything. It tickles when you do that. Yeah, it does. Mm. Mm. Apparently, that's meant to stop you having a brain freeze. So if you get a bra- brain and freeze. And yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. And sneezing. Oh, fair. Do you remember? Oh, this is a weird one. We're all probably doing it now. Not, not going <laughs> to be um, not going to be interesting to the listeners at all. But do you remember the Pokemon? The Pokemon? Don't start with that. Sorry, <laughs> cut that bit. They're know. just like, I'll skip the next couple of seconds. <laughs> no, nah, that's all right. Because then you, that's what you got to do, John. You got to play it down. And oh, when, right. When I then. come out with a class story, they go and he said we wouldn't enjoy this gold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you remember the um, the Pokemon cards turned down on the, the game floor? That you made up and then amended the rules as we went on. What? In your favour. Yeah. Oh, so like one what, of them. what we used to do is I used to have all these Pokemon cards and we used to turn them face down so you just had the blue backs with the Pokeball on. Yeah. yeah. And then we what was that, throw a marble or flick mm, a coin? Penny something, yeah. And you have to flick a coin. If it landed on the card with none of the coin yeah. overlapping, you win that card. Right. But I amended the rules, didn't I? <laughs> Every time. Well first that of you all lost. first of all, yeah. Because you know they have a slightly outer darker out yeah. outer border. Yeah. Right at the edge. So if Charlie got it on, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, it's just on the border there. <laughs> and she'd be like, you didn't say that. But then... I'd always play. I'd never go, no, I'm not playing with you. <laughs> yeah, I'd go, Charlie, fancy another go. <laughs> like that. But then I thought I was being clever. But now I'm 26 and I'm reminiscing. I realised they were my cards anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you were just giving her your yeah. Pokemon yeah. card. Oh. That's why I didn't want her to win. But my nan used to... Um, it's quite cute, really. She used to come and give us all packets of Pokemon cards every Friday. We used to go around my nan's. We've got three cousin so there used to be five kids and she used to give us a pack give us a pack and we'd take turns but then she made it a bit more fun one day where she opened all of the cards turned them face down and we all got to pick a card each like that That's me awesome. and my cousin Ree, smart fuckers realized that the shinies were a little bit darker the foil cards were a little bit darker than the normal ones so all of a sudden how are Reese and Jack getting all the shinies <laughs> we're, we're ahead of the curve quite a cute story lovely to retell until you realise that my nan was stealing the boxes of... Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> ste- ste- oh, no. Stealing the boxes of Pokemon cards from Mate. the hospital corner shop. No. <laughs> wow. do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Fucking dear. That wasn't all we got. They're worth Ice bank cream, now. What did you kitchen say? Kitchen roll. Oh, yeah. Kitchen roll. Easy to steal. Um, and I mean, we can say this now. She's not worked at the hospital for a the number of years. Was oh, she worked there. The yeah, <laughs> you made it sound like she, <laughs> she just went goes there. In. <laughs> no, I'll have them. She goes did, in. Oh, did I not mention? No, a little bit, a little bit of a limp. <laughs> just walks out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she she worked there. Sorry. She, oh wow. Um, how about this? Mum, can I get a please? So weird. What? You said that. Yeah. Why was she going to say it? Yeah. Well, we'd <laughs> Jordan and I just look at it. We'd like, leave yeah, school um, at three twenty, and our mum would be in the car, and we'd run. From our lesson, from different cl- parts of the school. Mum, can I go on the computer first, please? Oh, oh that old chest. Jack would always get the first. Get there first. Because it would be whoever asked first gets to go. So mum didn't think it through because we, we we ended up turning into like rabid animals. We're like, mum, can I go on the computer? Because sometimes we'd both get to the to the door at each. Other. I'd see her coming up and like, no. <laughs> we get to the window. Mum, can I go on the computer? Jack asked first. How did you determine that? <laughs> why, why didn't you just have set days or hours? Yeah. Never no. Nah. Mike Jack Alternate. ever would stick to that. 
Yeah, yeah but your mum could have been like, look, Jack, it's between five and six, it's Charlie's turn. I fucking hate it. And then you go, no, mum, I said, can I go on a computer first, please? Yeah. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to your own rules, idiot. It pissed me off, though, because oh. all she had to do was just go on MSN, Habbo. chat to people. I, I had my Habbo I face. had Habbo. <laughs> so, of course, I did, too. <laughs> I used to be she'd, <laughs> she'd be like right sorry I've got to, I've got to speak to someone on MSN I'll be like I've got a purple dragon lamp yeah. waiting <laughs> waiting for scam me scam off someone we've all established number one chat Jack's I've actually yeah, dynasty. Yeah, I've created a happy hour drinking game which is every time Jack mentions Habbo Hotel you need to down your drink <laughs> I've been wasted on this show since we started it's <laughs> mental How, can you remember when I used to be addicted to that you basically you talk Habbo. like you still are <laughs> <laughs> all the gold thrones used to steal yeah I know Oh, innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> Why has this gone so serious? It was a big thing. Uh, used to nick every after school. Well, look, with your family's history, it sounds like it's understandable. Your nan oh. fucking taught you. <laughs> yeah, you go online true. on Habbo. But that, my dad's that's crossing true. borders with cannabis up his ass. My nan's stealing from the NHS. <laughs> and you go, you start and you're scamming kids. <laughs> yeah. And that's just his YouTube the channel. Trifecta. Oh, quality. Of crime. Do you remember when we got our first dog? Oh, did he? Yeah, I was talking about that the other day. Yeah, was well, she still alive? <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you, you both made it sound like... Yeah. I was like, did he definitely alive? Like, yeah. yeah, the dog was dead. Um, I think we've like parted ourselves from her because we know that she You know she's going to be good. Yeah, uh, so soon. it's because I grew up... like She's the only dog sort we grew up with. I mean, my nan had a dog called Zach that they got at the same time as me and they called it Zach, Jack. I, can't, I think, kind of like that. Uh, but our mum and dad got us Diddy and... From Nanny Dean? from our nan that passed away and that was like the last thing she gave to us so it's like quite special so now i feel like I, I very rarely see the dog now i see it at like christmas if my mum brings it around my nan so now when i get offered to like go and take it on a walk i know i should but i don't want to because it's kind of like i'm gonna see her love it again and then it's just gonna mm. die is that the last time yeah, yeah is that the last time i remember but it's weird though because she's old as fuck and yeah. i took her to yarmouth two years ago she was running around in like the soap suds and stuff from the ocean and i was thinking this is class i bet it's the last time and she's still here yeah. so if i was thinking like this two years ago i could have just taken her loads of places yeah she's still good but she's the reason fine. i bring this up is do you remember the day we got the dog yeah do you remember the story that mum and dad said yeah dad's friend was gonna come stay yeah, called, they said called Gypsy or something, and yes. the dog's mum was called Gypsy. Yeah, Diddy's mum was called Gypsy, the little dog. And Dad said to us, um, "Oh, my work friend's got to come and stay for a week." So we was like, "Right," and he was like, "Yeah, his nickname's Gypsy." So he's like, "Oh, okay." And we're it only made little sense kids. with our dad. It kind of was like, okay. yeah, like what the, like I'm, my granddad's got a man a mate called Swampy. Like, and, <laughs> yeah. and it's literally just because he stinks. <laughs> right? What about Sprout? Sprout. There's a guy called Sprout. There was a guy called Rolo. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is like a Roald Dahl film, isn't it? Or something. <laughs> yeah. But um, so yeah, they were like, yeah, Gypsy's going to come and um, stay. So we were like, oh, okay. And then mm. my mum was like, yeah, dad's gone to pick him up because he lives in Fetford. And then she came and dad came back and the kitchen door was closed and then she, they were like go and say hello to gypsy and i was like she I, don't really, I don't really want to because that's like saying go and say hello to stig of the dump do you know what i mean it's like <laughs> i don't know who this guy is i'm expecting just a really stinky fat man yeah and um not that gypsy's a stinky fat man but um just because of my dad's clientele really his track <laughs> history but i opened the door and there's a little puppy in there so that was, that was nice yeah and it was called diddy because um what was it called diddy because it was small <laughs> I just remember he made a really long list, like fifty dog names, and Diddy was the first one. Really? So he should have just yeah, that's a waste of time. One. All the others. Yeah, but Diddy was Savage. really good at like when she'd get a ball, like oh, knocking around. Dog. So I, I, I nicknamed uh, Diddy a Dogba. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, nice. I think we'll go for a break there yeah. on, that, <laughs> on that highlight. When we come back, we're gonna speak. We're gonna be speaking to Charlie a little bit more about how she felt when I started YouTube, um, her favorite YouTubers, and. Um, how her life drastically changed a year ago. So come back after this and uh, it'll get beefy. Hello and welcome back to Jack Makes Happy Hour. I'm still here with Stevie. I'm still here with Jordan. I'm All still right. here with my sister Charlie. In the break, we were having a little chat and Stevie just, what did you say? That I watched a TV show where a woman ate books and bricks. That's incredible, right? Because that is one of the things that I was meant to put down on my running order today that I completely forgot about. So you've inadvertently reminded me. That's what I'm here for. Charlie used to eat books. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you just... <laughs> Didn't you? Books and things. Um... What, define the things. So, 
Oh. I've got a top three. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> roll doll. Favorite. It's <laughs> the cardboard from a toilet roll. That's oh. specifically that the bit in nice. the middle. That's like seasoned or something. That was <laughs> Are you still eating this? Or? No, I, I, grew, I grew out of it. <laughs> the second was a cardboard from cornflakes. Right. Boxes. That was yeah, delicious. Yeah. Also, all cereal boxes are just cornflakes. Mister Men books. Oh, hold on. These are niche, really specific. Niche. Well, I, I don't think like the Mister Men books. I don't think that she preferred them because they were specifically Mister Men content. <laughs> 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 like, I don't think she's going. Oh, I fancy a Mister Tickle today. Like <laughs> the she, specific like thickness of the cardboard or no. texture. Or, it was. No. It was just because they were the only books I had. Oh. I had oh, okay. the whole collection. That makes sense because when she said cornflakes, I was like, oh, what if you brought Weetos home? She's going, no, that's <laughs> not what yeah. I asked the for. The one that Dad reminds me of was this, uh, the butts of cigarettes. Oh, oh no. that's what? disgusting. Smoked, I'd eat them. Unsmoked, I was going to say. Jesus Christ, oh, they were smoked. Either or. Oh, still lit. <laughs> how old were you? Seven. I like how Jeez, old. Seven. Like seven years old. It's a real thing. It's called Pika disorder. It's an eating disorder. Wow. I used to eat um, bath sponges. Did you? Mm. Oh, you yeah. laughed at her? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't know if I swallowed them. But I definitely on chewed on them. That's on par. I was going to say, yeah. I always eat sponges in the bath. I couldn't judge you much on this because I remember getting told off a lot as a kid because my dad came home once and I'd eaten all of his Elvis records, like the casing for the, like, the vinyls. And then I wow. used to eat um, washing up powder. What? <laughs> oh, see, that's natural selection what? trying to get rid of you and you somehow <laughs> Here I persisted. Am. Cody used to do that. Who? Hey? Cody. Did she? On uh, washing Tide up. Pods. Uh, yeah, scoop round the tray. And lick them. Honestly, so nice. Wow. That's uh all three of you are mental. <laughs> well, uh, you well, still I, dip I, your toast yeah, in yeah, tea. Very, very common. Do you know what? Kid. I had I yeah, I think it was two, <laughs> three days ago, I had toast and I had a cup of tea and I was like, I'm not gonna do it. Don't. I was tempted, I was like, I'm gonna see what and I, I can't pull, bring oh, myself to Don't try and take the moral high ground <laughs> when you've just told me you're eating bath sponges. Uh, I was about Nine. <laughs> when I finished. Yeah. It's very common. Well, all of my books used to look like the Apple logo. All the corners <laughs> were gone like that. Nice. I remember once, because my parents were basically had to tell her off every time she did this to let her know it's not normal. And um, one day they were like, where is she? Where is she? Because I'll come crying at my new little book had, <laughs> like add the corner missing. Yeah. And she is hid. And then I just remember seeing the curtains close and then just two feet. Like that. <laughs> and then my dad went over and he looked at me and he just went, opened them and she just still got the book. Oh, <laughs> like, like, oh, nibbling it. Like, Fucking mental. That is well weird. Yeah. P- we oh, can't say yeah. That, yeah. Peak disorder. I like. So I actually fancy a sponge now. It's really weird. <laughs> it's really fucking weird. Not even they a sponge have... cake. <laughs> nah, nah. But they have to be soggy. Like you can't have just. Dry oh, sponge. used. Dead no, skin. No, it, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, you were eating dead <laughs> skin. No, well, yeah. Yours is the weirdest. You're yeah, but swimming. But if you go to a swimming pool, mate, you're swimming in a swimming you're pool. A you're a cannibal. Bit. Where are you off to after this? The Bohemian Grove. <laughs> oh, hey. That's a little go throwback. Watch, yeah, go watch the conspiracy one. That's a very good episode. After actually. this, um, open yeah, the new no, tab. It's weird because Fiona went to Aldi the other day. Big up Aldi, by the way. Didn't realise how good that is. Just going to quickly it. say, Aldi chocolate pillows. They're like their own brand of um, crave. Go and experience it. Carry on. Chocolate. Not pillows. an ad. <laughs> chocolate pillows. Based on the conversation, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just pillows. <laughs> they're, they're, they're brown pillows that's, that Jordan just calls chocolate pillows. From next home range. But yeah. <laughs> but she went. Uh, she went to Aldi and she. Te- I said, "Can I get, have some bacon, please?" And she didn't come back. She didn't come back with any. And I was like, "Why did you not get any?" And she was like, "I don't know if you wanted smoked or unsmoked." I was like, well, just get any. <laughs> but that just reminded me of when Charlie was like, yeah, I used to eat cigarette butts, smoked or unsmoked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a seasoning. Slink. Yeah. It's like a seasoning. <laughs> I like that Fiona just decided not to get you any. I know. Why not just well, Get me what? something. Yeah. And if you messaged her, what, couldn't she have just messaged you saying which one? <laughs> yeah, she said, oh, I couldn't get any connection in there. <laughs> Just but, have a guess. Yeah, if anyone out there wants to buy me something, but they can't d- t- pick between two, just get me one of the options because <laughs> yeah. that is better than none of the options. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Unless it's between s- still uh, and sparkling water, and if you buy me sparkling oh, water, I will Lord. put you down on the floor and I will gut you like a fish. Oh, uh, I think I've told you before the best customer service I ever received. Right, we won't go into it, but it was a meal deal. But this isn't the point, right? <laughs> I decided to get a water. <clears throat> I put it down on the till and I shit you not, the girl behind the counter, she went, are you sure you want the sparkling one? Is that what you meant? And I, and I said, oh my God, no, I meant still. Thank you so much. Like, I, it, oh, that is meant. I was like, you you are a star. And I went and changed it. Uh, it's customer service. I love that she realised that no one likes it that much. And she was like, fuck, is he sure? Like, <laughs> They've never had to reorder stock of sparkling. Yeah. Gone, it's the first customer. <laughs> yeah. I've worked there three years. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. What's your what's your amazing. meal deal? Go to meal deal. Never bought one in my life. Whoa. What? That's that's not normal. She is, do, 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 do. She, she is the fussiest <laughs> eater, aren't you? Yeah. Like she like when we were growing up, my mum used to cook, but my mum couldn't cook, right? Shittest cooker ever. I think she'd even admit that. Like, she, no, she'd probably be, if she heard this, she'd probably get, <laughs> We're just laughing at the word cooker. <laughs> She's such a shit cooker. She, she, well, I'm not going to say chef, am I? <laughs> just cook. I don't know got me so much. All she used to cook, uh, ever, was um, <laughs> chips, deep fat fried, deep pan, what? <laughs> What is it called? Deep, deep, deep fat fryer. Deep fat fried <laughs> chips. They were right, home cooked chips, but it was basically just oil. I realise now I'm 26 why I like them so much. It's just fatty oil, it's potato, um, yeah. and sausages, right? And then she used to get some spice, probably like a like a multi steak seasoning or something. Put it on the sausage, dish it up. Me and Charlie thought that was the creme de la creme of meals. Actually, right? sounds all right. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's sausage and chips, mate. <laughs> right? Put so, a bit of seasoning. It's effort. Yeah, but we thought it was some like next level Michelin star <laughs> shit. Like, cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone who likes cardboard. Yeah. That was a oh. fucking treat. <laughs> yeah, but no. She. Uh, oh, so wow. we grew up on that, and I've had to kind of like condition myself to not be so fussy because living with Fiona, she it's like she's the antithesis of the things I would eat. Um, but Charlie, you're still very much very like that, right? Mm. Um, you're so, not like a vegetarian or vegan or anything. Yeah. Girls, yeah. Um, cool. No. Like you couldn't, you, you couldn't really eat the stuff from the wedding. Oh, I couldn't even look at it. It was that bad. Can't even look at <laughs> it. We went to our uncle's wedding. Lovely, That's lovely it. do, lovely spread. And she's, she's just going <laughs> like that at the food. I'll tell you what it was. It was a chicken and bacon pate. Wait, it wasn't. Right, kind of was. <laughs> uh, it was a chicken liver Ooh. and bacon pate. Actually, right, right. Yeah, pate. Uh, yeah. Right. I hate liver. Like I've said before, I think I've said on this podcast, it's my worst thing, right? Mm. I would sooner eat seafood. Food you tried it. Than, than, yeah, I tried it, right? It was like a cr- bit of crouton. And then I thought back, because it's in a pate and there's bacon in it, it might yeah. just taste like a bacon spread. Yeah. Um, put it on. It was horrible, right? right. But, but there was a, sal- a side salad. I ate that. Um, and then there was some maple jam stuff. Gross. Lovely. That's fine, no. It was just right. sweet sauce. Then the mains... The mains, Tommy knows that we're probably a fussy bunch, <coughs> so he just done a roast. He didn't know it as his great. wedding. <laughs> he's, just, he's the cooker. <laughs> yeah, fuck's sake. Yeah. But um, yeah, uh, so he, did you like that? Yeah, I, yeah, no problem with me. And then the, the, for dessert was <sighs> this is soon. This is like a cul- culinary podcast now, isn't it? Yeah. Like, Every time. Yeah, and um, the dessert was a custard and lemon tart. Tart. Thanks, nice. Fiona. For eating mine. Yeah, and it came with a couple of raspberries on it. Oh. And a little sorbet, raspberry oh. sorbet, quite nice. To cleanse the palate. That's it, and it was quite nice. You didn't touch it, did you? No. Didn't touch it. Oh. Fussiest. You hungry all day. Yeah. Fussiest, <laughs> fussiest fucker in the world. But um, you should have seen the wedding invites. Corners out. <laughs> 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 um, right, I want to go back quickly to um, when we first, when I first started making the YouTube videos. How well do you remember sorry, that? No, sorry, sorry, because that sounds... I thought you were going to say when we first met. That was where my brain was at and Steve was looking at it. Sorry, Well, I, on. I actually met Charlie when I was three. Really? Mm. Oh. Didn't you tell him that? Oh, sorry. If I, it's, it's, if I tra- it's, tread on... He's three mind. years older than I am. Oh, fuck <laughs> me! <laughs> Jordan, are you all right? <laughs> Jordan's just turned away from the mic now. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, I thought you were separated or something. <laughs> <laughs> you were like brought back together. Like oh, slow motion running oh together. God. <laughs> I thought I put my foot in it then. Oh, I, was like, oh. I was a three year old just running up to her like this. She's a little baby. And then as soon as I run up to her, I just go, Mum, can I go on a computer when I go and play? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. Right. Yeah, no, you sorry. are out of it today. Yeah, sorry. Right. Oh, <laughs> it's good to be back. It's good yeah. to be back. Um, oh, sorry. Now, can you remember when I first started making YouTube videos? My first memory is what can you do with a banana? Good. <laughs> 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 don't, don't. That's, all that's I such know. a seedy little laugh. Sorry. Like, you know she's throwing me under the bus here. Stevie. <laughs> Swallow it. I, honestly, my favourite thing about your YouTube channel ever is that video. 
just the coming up and down from the table. What cracks me up. <laughs> what can you do with a banana? You can <gasps> use it as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this what your football team ribbed you for or yeah. something? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> we all make mistakes. <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You've seen you, you've seen the current climate here on YouTube. If my yeah. biggest mistake was what can you do with a banana, I will take that all day long. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh god. The bana- I, I did try and convince the banana it was gay. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, oh, do you think James Charles dude. would still not go anywhere near me because I come across camp? Yeah, probably. You're you're He's not probably less of a challenge. Yeah, you're not a challenge for him. Yeah, I probably would just for the money. Well, they see that's that's where the issue lies. I think in the whole scenario. Do you remember we had we oh. had well we had Brian on it, didn't we? We did a couple of three months ago. True Geordie, and he said when he dressed up as a woman. Oh, he'd probably not, fuck not Brian. Yeah, he'd yeah. probably fuck James Charles. Fuck James Charles. Yeah, he'd probably fuck you, Brian. Wouldn't we? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Maybe we can try. Maybe we yeah. can hook this up. Maybe. We, we can, guys, if you can, if you can clip this, or you, if you can send this time code to Brian, because he won't be listening, <laughs> uh, uh, or James Charles, let him know. Brian is a masculine man, very straight. The, the straightest man you can probably meet. James would love that. If James yeah. Charles could crack True Geordie, that w- could possibly stop the hemorrhage and save his career. Yeah. Yeah. Revitalize it. Yeah. Then fair enough, because that is like that is like completing the a boss level Mario yeah. or some shit. <laughs> that is good. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> fucking True Geordie is the Bowser of straight men for gays <laughs> to try and crack. <laughs> he looks a bit Bowser. He does look a bit Bowser, doesn't he? Put a shell on the guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. You're and, right, and, and Lawrence would be Luigi, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, no, or who's that Wal- purple one? Wal- 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 Waluigi. Waluigi. Yeah. 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 Right. Charlie. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. anyway. This so, is relevant. Can you imagine yeah. if we've just hooked that up, though? Buzzing. Yeah. Carry on. Oh, dear. Matchmaker. I'm like Fred from First Date. <laughs> um, yeah. So, what was your impression? Ooh. What was your thoughts when I first started making YouTube videos? Was it weird to you? It's not weird. Just a bit annoying at first because you wouldn't ever film a video if, if I was in my room. Because we were back to back. Right. So I have to go downstairs or go out and it's just... Effort. Mm, annoying. Why wouldn't I film a video? Because you don't want to hear... I didn't, you don't want me to hear you. Go, what can you do with a banana? <laughs> <laughs> Mum, Jack's in your room again playing with bananas in front of the webcam. Because <laughs> yeah, the computer was in Mum's room, wasn't it? Yeah. So there was... Um... But then when you got, it moved, you got the webcam in your room mm. with your photo wall. Oh yeah, mm. I used to. I've I've just remembered that actually. I had a photo wall. Some of the older time viewers will remember this, um, and I had my bed. So I had to get a, ch- a bed. I had my bed. I had a chair. Then I had to like stack some books and then put like a tiny little webcam on there. The effort I used to go yeah. through for YouTube. I still don't. I don't put that put much no effort, effort in now. now. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. mad. So yeah, what can you do, banana? Any other little things that stick out to you, or not really? Just when you started vlogging, and that was. Quite annoying too. That was <laughs> there Great. all the time. Yeah. Did you not like it? No. You didn't like being no. in the vlogs, did you? No, I hated it. I thought you. Yeah, I thought that made you cool within your friends. No, that wasn't cool then. Wasn't it? What? Because no. vlogging was so weird. Because now every man and his yeah. dog does it, but back then no one did it. So you yeah. were weird if you were filming in public. Yeah. Now, kind of, <clears throat> I think. Do you, would you find it weird? Would you, right? Who's someone that doesn't know YouTube? Does your mum really know YouTube that Not well? Not really. If your mum went down the street and she saw someone vlogging, would she find that weird? Yes, absolutely. Oh, she would. Yeah. I think I still yeah. kind of find it weird when I see people doing it. But you don't know no. because because if you now went out left here and you saw a guy walking down the road and he was going blah 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 dip t- tea and toast to- toast and tea, <laughs> you, I'd find that very weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you would look at it and even though it's unusual, you'd go, I know what. Oh, he's I know doing. what he's doing. I yeah, who yeah, he was. yeah. Who's that? Yeah. So maybe people could do it as a status thing now. Yeah, maybe they're not even filming. They're just trying to look. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. I've just got a Ruby play button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you remember I caught you once on the computer? I filmed you for a vlog, and I was filming it through the crack of the That's door. Scary. You was on the computer, and she was she turned the webcam on I know. because she obviously she weren't making a video, but she was just looking at herself in the webcam, and she was going, "It was a nitty witty teeny beeny yellow pocket <laughs> up bikini." Oh, what a tune! <laughs> I don't say I was filming myself because I wasn't. I would have been like talking on him and saying, "It's you know." <laughs> just, like, I wouldn't have been filming it. Who would I have sent it to? Well, I filmed it then. Yeah. You did. I remember now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll overlay a clip. Oh. I wouldn't mind seeing it. Ah. <laughs> I want to see permission. it now. You have permission. What, um, what 
do your friends think of what I do now? Mixed, mixed reviews. <laughs> there's there's a lot of friends that think, oh, I won't even talk about him. Really? Yeah, they're not interested. and That does perfectly cool. sum up your channel. I've got just friends that won't stop talking about you. Really? All the time. Tell me things that I don't even know. Is that annoying? It's not annoying. It's cool, but <laughs> like, talk about something else. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Because it's your brother in it. Yeah, like, yeah, I know. Like, yeah. Because you, you don't really watch the videos, do you? No. <clears throat> Only ones like the girl that fucked the dog and... The popular ones. The car. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. The only ones you watch of is when it's something fucking something else. Yeah, yeah. an yeah. inanimate. Oh no, it's dog. No. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Um, a lot of YouTubers fuck a lot of weird things, don't they? Yeah. Like James Charles fucked his career. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're a cunt. Carry on. <laughs> Do you get like a play button for 15 million? Or does no. he have to send that back? Or <laughs> <laughs> return to sender. <laughs> I liked my tweet the other day. You, oh, what? <laughs> did you? <laughs> All right, well played. Yeah. Now, did you, did you like me and tweet? Did you see the tweet I put the other day? I've been your fan since seventeen. Mil. I, did you yeah. see that? I put congrats, James Charles, on seventeen mil. I've, no, congrats, James mil. Charles, on fourteen mil. I've been here since seventeen mil. That's I like it. that. You don't get it. You're not in the YouTube world. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, He's lost a lot of. My sister video. What? You what? That was long, video. wasn't it? It was long. I had to watch it for my video. She'll only watch yeah, your well. videos if it's someone fucking something, but she'll watch a 45 minute video. I've told you, James is fucking something. His career. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. What's your, opin what's your opinion on James Charles? I don't really know much about him, but I, I saw the video of him at Coachella. Yeah. Was... That, that ain't real. That ain't That's him. That's him, innit? That ain't him. What? On the, on the Ferris wheel. Yeah. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen it. Then I haven't really got a problem with him. It's the Ferris wheel, the famous fer Ferris wheel that go round, which I've been on, just oh, throwing it in right, there. Right. Um, but right. it was uh, it was somebody, you can see silhouettes, and somebody's going down on somebody. What, Get, and just from a silhouette, someone's saying that's James someone Charles? Someone said it was James Charles and the guy that didn't want it. Oh. What? Oh, I no? didn't know that. No? Word, no, maybe I've got it wrong then. But what they're saying is James Charles, though, right? Yeah, just a companion. Yeah, I, I kind of, I'm a very cynical person, and I thought, I thought for a long time it can't be him. No, I don't think it's him. Like, I just want to put it out there. It's, I do not think it's him. There's rumors online that it's him. I very highly doubt it. The chances of it being him are slim, right? But I thought it was photoshopped at first. Yeah, it's quite a silhouette, isn't it? It's quite a good silhouette, it's and like, I mean, you even see the penis. Hang on, and and How if you're you looking for penis on a yeah. oh right side on, sorry, yeah, side on, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, I'm, like oh a, man, like I need to stop. yeah. So it's a, it's a bit weird, or it's just a big penis. It, 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 fair play to you. Um, so what? Where were we now? So we're talking about James Charles. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Your friends so and things. You, you, oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'll go back to that in a minute. But yeah. So what? Some of your friends don't give fuck. Some do. Basically, mm. what do you think? What's your opinions on it? I think it's cool. Yeah. D yeah. For you, yeah. What was the moment when you thought, okay, maybe it's not just what can you do with an arm anymore? Maybe it is actually a bit <laughs> serious. Has that been yet? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the first Ricky video. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just to see how buzzing you are, really. Mm, I think that's what changed a lot of people's opinions, really. Mm. He was just someone that you talk about a lot. Yeah, and like, still do. I'm with him now. So, yeah, thanks, Ricky, because you actually validated my entire career. There you go. There you <laughs> he go. actually did, though, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, that is very respectable, all mm. things aside, it is. Because mm. he is... Wow, he's fucking massive, massive, massive in his own field. Like yeah. I can't really think of a name bigger. Certainly in in British comedy, there isn't one in my opinion. No. So that is huge. Yeah. So and fair. Play. Stephen tries. The time the girl, <laughs> knocked, the, the time the girl knocked on the door. Oh, oh. Tell, tell that story. Oh. Yeah, we were just watching TV. It was about. Do you remember? What, do you night. remember what we were watching? Louis Theroux. No. No. We was actually watching me and Jason. Oh, <coughs> cringe. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I pranked Jason, my, my, an old mate of mine. He's a cunt now, but uh, pranked him on this prank show, Richard Hammond's Secret Service. Oh, I remember yeah, that. I remember. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, and we, we wow. were actually watching that when we got a knock at the door. Yeah, I just opened the door and there's a young girl and I could see our family at the gate, like a few steps behind and, is Jack there, please? It's like, come on. Can I find out who you are first? <laughs> and uh, she said, I'm just a big fan. And it was at the time, Jack had his uh, postal address for Christmas presents. And things, oh, yeah. So mm. she was just like, I'll take she the opportunity. Yeah. Wow. Mm. She so I quickly shut the door. I said, Jack, there's a fucking fan at the door. Wow. <laughs> 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 it quickly got... Dressed. Yeah, present. I didn't want it to make it weird, but make yourself presentable. And then uh, she came in and 
was weird. She yeah. came in. She came in. <laughs> well, yeah, because this is what I said on the Christmas special, the True Geordie Christmas special, that a young fan came in and because and the lighting was shit because it was night time. She had to come into my house, into the kitchen. She was about fourteen, so now there's like a running joke that I'm a nonce. <laughs> well, <laughs> Did the family actually... come in as well. Yeah. yeah. No, the family yeah, didn't come in. Oh, God. right. So I tried imagine... to save you there. So... <laughs> I'd like to quickly. I also know the layout of that house. <laughs> If she knocked on the front door to get into your kitchen for a photo, she had to walk through the front hallway, <laughs> through the living room, to actually then get to the kitchen. Jeez. 15 minutes in the bedroom first. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, no, oh, no, it's all right. It's me. <laughs> it's not libelous. I mean, it's false. <laughs> like, it's not liable. Like, it's not... Fu- it's fu- For fuck's sake. It's oh. false, but I can joke about myself being a nonce. I'm not saying James Charles is one. All right. That's fine. Like the right. network have to listen back to this as well. They're going to be sat there going, do we remove this or <laughs> yeah. not? It's fine. The girl was straight. Uh, <laughs> right, no. Yeah, so what, fair play. what I had no, to literally like... To what Stevie said. I had to literally look at the the parents. She was like, can I come in, get a picture? I was like, hmm... Imagine if you said no. Yeah, I know. I can't come say all no. This way, from no. Cambridge. She came from Cambridge. From Cambridge? Yeah. And um, wow. so I, I looked at the parents and was like, she's going to have... Picture and they were just there. It was like they were like the um, the family from us. They were like the tethered tethered <laughs> ones from us. Uh, us. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, They're just, just there like there. that with scissors, Sciss- holding scissors <laughs> like that. Sciss- Red on. overalls. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> and then she's come in, and then uh, yeah, we had the picture. I made sure it was very brief. You were the other side of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just took a picture of you. <laughs> yeah. I went in. I went go see him in there. <laughs> I'm watching something. Uh, you uh, into the film, have you? Uh, <clears throat> us creepy family yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's I question that. whether this girl still listens or watches your videos because yeah, she must photos. you've told the story a couple of times and like How on True Geordie she's this? probably just watching it going fucking hell I'm a loser yeah <laughs> how, how long ago was this uh, this was many moons ago this was about seven years ago wow so she's 21 now there you go <laughs> <laughs> Jordan I'm, I didn't even mean it like that when on, I said it hang on I'm horrified at how quickly you did the maths well, he had it in his mind seven. the whole time going well is she legal now yeah. no I was just was so just, Adam Johnson I was just doing the maths <laughs> ladies and gentlemen right just doing well, maths is my thing going back Less to YouTube the defamation please going back to YouTube <laughs> Charlie you were the f- you watched YouTubers before I did did I well yeah because do you remember who you introduced me to not who do you got Jack and Dean Oh my fucking god, it's Jack and Dean. Do you remember when Jack and Dean were called OMFG? It's Jack and Dean. No, what are they no. called now? Jack and Dean. Jack and Dean. <laughs> <laughs> and they got rid of the They grew up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to say, like, uh, they used to call their subscribers groovy people. Nice. Yeah. <gasps> Hello. Cool. Crab sticks. Forgot all about crab sticks. Yeah, that's what, was, that was what my question was going to be. What YouTubers did you watch back in the day? Hoagie33. No one here will know who that is. No but, idea. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> 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 um, who else? Crab sticks and them. Jack and Dean. Yeah. Do you remember crab sticks? Yeah. He, Everyone knows. He was quality. He's... Can you remember that aggression video? It was just called Aggression, and it was a guy in a car park, and he just filmed himself being really angry at something. Yeah, but I can't remember his I name. Ne- I've looked for that for so. Long. I would be able to find him because I did a Christmas special, he didn't that, I? Because that was in my favourites. Was it? it yeah. I did a Christmas special where I got loads of YouTubers to sing a line from "I wish oh, it yeah. could be Christmas." Bit of a lift, that guy with a bit of a. I think so, yeah. But um, I remember Crab Sticks did the ending for me because I'd just tweet him randomly and say, "Can you do this?" And he did the ending. I was buzzing so <laughs> hard. He was my favourite YouTuber. Yeah, I was literally a fanboy of that guy. Like did when it... the competition you you entered. The yeah, prize. and I won it, and then he didn't do the fucking prize, did he? If this was <laughs> oh. yeah, he done it. He, do he, he done it where it, I think the, I can't remember what the prize was. Was it a video with him? Or a something? video with him. He would yeah. be in your video. He yeah. Would send you, yeah, and he was so funny, and it was like date me, like, and he he basically said like it was like him trying to get dates, and you have to put your application to why you want to date him. But I done played five different characters, and I sent it to him, and I won, and I got a few subscribers because he he mentioned me in the video, but then he didn't do the collab with me. Crab sticks, if you're watching, you broke my heart to this day. <laughs> there you go. But you still it, want the collab? Or? I'd love to. I'd love to have him on it. I don't know what he does anymore. It. What? He's still doing it. He is, yeah, but I think he's, he only, uh, he, he uploads, right, a video. Like, you have to go check his channel out. It's very bizarre, right? And I don't know if he's got things going on behind the scenes. I assume he has, like, but he, he, uh, he doesn't seem to be in the best place because I know he took a break from YouTube, and this is just me speculating here. He took a break from YouTube because, uh, uh, I think he couldn't keep cope up with the pressures of it and that. But he's come back about four or five times in the last two years and gone, 
this is my comeback video. I'm going to be making loads of videos from that. And then you never see him again. Oh, That's like, no. you, the more times you do that, but yeah. every time he comes back, his videos get like good views because really? everyone's like, oh, he's back. He's yeah. back. Because he was the first YouTuber I ever saw that was so funny. He became like a BBC Three comedy actor. And really? he was on like shows and stuff. Really? Like, it w not this, but like kind of lead balloon and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, so he, he was, he's incredible. And if you're out there, Chris, Kendall, and you want to come on the pod, you're more than welcome. Charlie, there what I want to speak uh, speak about before we finish, I'm probably going to bin off the Twitter questions just because I don't want to answer how many times have I slept with my own sister. So um, a year ago, she's <laughs> 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 why is she telling us four times? <sighs> Uh, a, a year, this week what is it it's May um, it's I'm, not now, I'm not now going to work out having it right it's May so. Ooh, 48 um, 12 times a month for the last four months um, I am a year ago your life changed dun, dun, dun. Oh. but it, but when I say that I'm not actually clickbaiting it it actually did didn't it completely yeah 180 degree turn on your life what happened and um, what was when when did this happen March was it no, this a uh, year on Friday. Fucking hell. And this is probably roughly yeah. when this will sort of come out. So so a year ago, almost to the day, I remember, I'll set the scene. I was filming a clickbait episode, a series that I only did four or five of with Tom Norris, a friend of mine. And uh, we were halfway through filming. And I got a phone call from Charlie and she was like, I'm really ill. I'm really ill. Can you take me to the... Again, Darth Sidious. <laughs> I've choked on a hairbrush again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> what are you even doing watching telly, Tubbies? You're 22. I'm about to come up. <laughs> <laughs> you got any cardboard? I'm clucking. <laughs> I like how this is most meant to be a really yeah. serious story. Yeah, I know. Um, no, yeah, so I was halfway through film and she called me. She said, oh, I'm really ill. Pick me up. So I was like, all right, I'm going to have to stop. So I stopped recording. Went and picked her up. And I shit you not, yeah, she looked really white, pale. Like, and really thin, right? Really, like, half the size you usually are. And <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, like, just half the size you usually are. <laughs> and uh, I put, you're, you're in the car, and then I was like, it's, I'll say now, because it's all good, right? I genuinely thought to myself when I see you, I was like, you could, that could be cancer or something. A couple hours left. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I thought it could be cancer because I've never seen someone lose that much weight that quickly. I don't see Charlie all the time. Maybe once a week, once every two weeks sometimes. And I think I'd not seen her for like 10 days or so. And she was literally half the size, white, gaunt. I could see the fucking cheekbones. I was like, this, this something's weird here. Dropped her off at the doctor's. And then, you, and then I said, I remember saying to you, right. I'm about if you need me. I'll pick you up in a minute, drop you off. I dropped, I picked her up, dropped her off back at home. She said, oh, the doctor said it's just a virus. I was like, what fucking virus is this then? She's like, oh, I've just got to put these tablets under my tongue. She kept going, I'm so thirsty, I'm so thirsty. I was I dropped her off at home. I said, right, I'm about if you need me all day, but I'm not about between seven and eight because I've got to go play football. So you, I don't want to have my phone on me. So if you, if you need me, make sure it's before then and then I won't go. And then... At, I got, I finished football and I looked, I went, I got in the car park of the UEA and I looked at my phone and I had 10 missed calls and I was like, what the fuck? Mm. Like, why are you calling me then? Like, it must be serious. And then, um, and then I called you back and mum answered on your phone and that people know I don't have the greatest relationship with my mum, but, um, I was chatting, chatting to, to her and mum said that you had to be put on a resuscitation machine. Mm. So what happened then? What, tell people what, what. So after you dropped me home. And I thought I just had a stomach bug. I fell asleep and I woke up and I had this really bad pain in my back. And I, I went, I called my mum. I was like, mum, I think you need to come around. I'm not well. So I went downstairs to unlock the door. And on my way up, I thought, shit, that's, that's not right. And I called 999. And they said, no, you seem all right. We'll ring you back in an hour. <laughs> wow. I thought, God, I must be like dramatic. I must be fine. And, and just uh, jazzing it up a bit. And then um, my mum turned up. And I think the ambulance were calling back at that time. And my lips were kind of blue. And... I couldn't really think think straight. And uh, yeah, the ambulance turned up and sent me straight to A&E, recess for five hours, and they told me I'm type 1 diabetic. <laughs> and then my life, it's like someone went, Beep, your life's changed, and if you don't follow the rules, you'll die. So, wow. Because That's awful. It's, it's weird because even when I'm dropping her off at the doctors, I'm not a medical expert. I don't have any knowledge in that field. I'm like, how? Look at her. That yeah. doctor was, yeah. Shit. Poor, yeah, really poor. Dismissed me because two days before I went to that appointment, 
uh, I was feeling unwell for about a month and I went on the Monday, that was the Wednesday, and she said that I was, uh, I had health anxiety and depression and just all this, just stop. How many times are you going to keep coming here? That's what she asked me and offered me antidepressants and, oh shit, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually just a bit gone. And then, um, yeah, two days later when I called Jack, I couldn't stop being sick. That's mad as well, because I don't think I've ever said this on the podcast, and I don't really want to get into it. This is one for another time, but I genuinely actually do have health anxiety, right, to a, to a big extent that not really many people know about, and it fucks me pretty much on the daily. On the daily. I just don't mention it. And I used to have OCD when I was a kid. I do have a little bit. So when Charlie comes to me saying, I think it's this, that, and the other, the f- I disbelieve her as well, because I'm like, I reckon you've got what I've got. Because I know what I, I have. I so as well. That's yeah. why I believed it, because I know, what I'm like, I know how my brain but works. But I so. saw you, and you looked like Skeletor, and yeah. it was horrible. That's why he dismissed me so much, because I'd just been diagnosed with health anxiety. So he was like, why are you here again? But, then, but then health anxiety is the belief that you have something ill all wrong with you all the, all the time when you don't. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was like, I've been feeling this for so long now. This is not right. But then, but then health anxiety wouldn't make you physically look like that, would it? No. No, because then that's an actual health issue. Yeah, mm. so it's On weird. On the Monday, I wasn't that bad. Right. On the Monday, I could walk in and walk out. And then on the Tuesday, he's just, he's read her notes and thought, why have our receptionist let her in? Why have, why is she here again? And and I'm probably jazzing up a bit. I'm probably being a bit... Hypochondriac. Yeah, yeah. But, that, but uh, then, so you got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, which... I was in hospital for like four or five days. I went and saw you and you looked completely different. I looked better. Looked better. You had yeah. more colour, but you're still skinny as fuck, like all bones, basically. And... um you so first of all before we get into the 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 big life changes that this brought on i just want to say there's a common misconception that not a lot of people know and i know our nan and granddad didn't really understand between type one and type two what are the differences so type two it can be brought on um mainly by stress or diet that's the one that people think can be self-inflicted you know um, type one. Oh well, Charlie's too polite. But basically, type two, the fa- one that fat people fat, get. Fat people get it. Yeah, too much sugar. Like you yeah. know when you eat when you buy like a, b- a box of Krispy Kremes and then you go, ha, oh, bring on the diabetes. Like you can literally bring on the diabetes. Yeah. But as much as you can bring it on, you can also bring it off again if you just fucking start eating. As long as you yeah, don't until get, you get yeah, to a certain point where you just yeah. yeah, where you ruin it for yourself. So because so, when you were a kid, you were quite a chubby kid, weren't you? I've I've been checked for diabetes several times in my life yeah, yeah she was quite a chubby kid right up to about 15 16 so i think a lot of when my nan and granddad heard you had diabetes they put they associate you being a chubby kid yeah. going ah and your diet was just sausages and shit anyway so it's Thanks, like ah, oh. <laughs> yeah. so it's like ah oh, she eats shit but that frustrated you because it's like no it's not because i eat yeah. shit i do eat shit but my pancreas has died yeah that's yeah it's totally different yeah, yeah. totally different but just, it just needs a different name do you think? Because that's yeah, a very yeah, good yeah. point. Absolutely. Nine, out of everyone in this country that have got diabetes, only 90% have got type 1. So it's like so overlooked. No, 90, 90% have got type 2. You mean? 10%? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 10% have got type 1. So it's overlooked. There's not much on it, really. So, okay. You do? So what, what, has, what has, has your pancreas died? Yeah. Just stopped working? So, yeah. I, I had no insulin, so my blood sugar would just raise and raise and raise, and then I'd feel the effects of that, and that's what put me in hospital. It's weird, because I think if your blood sugar raised, you'd feel like you're buzzing, wouldn't you? Like a sugar rush? it's just kind of like, you know when you eat a really big meal, and and you undo your trousers, and you're like... Yeah. That. It's too much for your body to handle. And that's Mm. why you were so thirsty. Yeah, and your eyes go... Yeah, that was the scariest symptom, and and the leg cramps. My mouth was so dry, I thought, I've, I've lost my voice, I can't talk anymore. Your eyes go what? Blurry. Really? Yeah. So what was the biggest life changes then? Because you said it was like someone flicking a switch. And I remember in the in the months just after, you were quite mm-hmm. depressed and quite down oh, about it. Yeah. You'd get upset a lot. I think I'm over that now. I think that was that would have been weird if I didn't yeah. feel like that. But Because um, you feel like everything. you weren't yourself anymore. Yeah, I feel like that was diabetes and then me and then work and then the rest of it, you know. Do you want to show your thing on the camera? Like if you need yeah. to talk into your mic, so show Where's the camera. It's, it's up, up there. there. You need yeah, to talk into to. your mic so it picks it up. This is a continuous blood glucose monitor, and I recommend it for any diabetic out there. It tells my blood sugar. I send it straight to my watch and my phone, and it goes off if it's too high or too low. So when I'm asleep, um, it I'm ba- safe. Sorry to interrupt, but it, it basically stops you from pricking your finger all yeah, the time. Yeah, that's the main point, because my fingertips are really sore. I'd prick my fingers about 10, maybe 12 times a day, and they'd get really, you know, gross. Manky. Yeah, and I think Dad saw that and was like, yeah headache because i'm only what, eight months in and 
they were already falling apart. And with my job being a technician, it was just a bit... Uh, a bit hard mm. to do. Yeah. And when you go to sleep and stuff, you don't know what your body's going to do when you go to sleep. You don't know if you're going to wake up. So every night you'd go to bed thinking, risking it a bit, aren't I? <laughs> um, should set ah, alarms and stuff. Hell. And yeah, some people set alarms for 12 o'clock at night, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And, but now I don't have to. And that what made me buy it was someone left a comment saying, enjoy the first night's sleep since diagnosis. And it is really that. Really? Wow. So you would recommend it to anyone out anyone, there? Yeah, just for my mental health. I might not need it forever for the rest of my life. Like when I'm used to it, because I'm so new, my body is, is dealing with it very differently to like Frankie, our cousin, who's had it for 30 years. I don't know. Yeah. So maybe um, in a few years, I'll be yeah. more relaxed. But at the moment, it's still a very big deal to me. So, so, so that basically will send all the updates to your phone. So, yeah. if so, rather than you having to constantly prick, worry, oh, what am I at? What am I at? Your yeah. phone will just tell you. Yeah. So it's worth getting. How much is that? Is it? It's quite pricey, though, isn't it's it? One hundred and fifty nine pounds a month, which I would pay double that, but I can understand it's a lot of money. Mm. Um, but I mean, but I mean, if you've got help. a little bit of money to like to 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 live on, then do it because it's changed your life oh, quite a lot. Just my mental health. Is yeah. What I'm thankful for. Yeah. Theresa May's got one of them, isn't she? She's got. It's not as good. This one is like the the elite. Is it? Yeah. The, her one's like <laughs> NHS funded. How come? <laughs> how come they don't put them on the NHS? Too expensive. Mm, don't really know. Don't really know. This is going to improve my uh, long term health. Yeah. Maybe they don't want that. That's always a money thing, mm. isn't it, with the NHS? Yeah. There's quite a lot you can't get under the NHS. It's mad, isn't it? You so think they should because in the long term, I'm not. They're not going to have to take my leg off, or you know, mm. I'm not going to have the long term effects of diabetes with this. Hopefully, if I stick to the rules, so actually I should save some money. What are the long term effects if you didn't have that? Uh, so amputations, I could lose my lower limbs and my eyesight goes. Um, yeah, heart attack, stroke. They say your life expectancy decreases, don't they? Yeah, I think it's gone to like 67 or something like that. Fucking mental, isn't it? People do think, this is, a, this is a good conversation to have, because people do think that diabetes is just, oh, you just sort of have to have a chocolate bar every now and then, or you have to like worry about your sugar and that. It does dramatically change things. The mm. first thing my nurse said to me, I said, should I keep pricking my fingers and testing what different foods, um, how it works for me? And she said, no, don't keep doing that, because you might need those fingertips for Braille when you're older. <sighs> fucking hell and I'm a day in so I'm thinking oh cool I'm going to go blind soon <laughs> <laughs> that is Sweet. fucking random oh dear yeah you got quite down about it quite depressed about uh, it understandably mm. fuck me that was that was horrible horrible time I, d- I think it's just I'm over it if now. someone in your family has it you need to educate yourself and work out what they're going through and shit like that because didn't have a clue no I, I learn stuff every day yeah At Smithy from Soccer AM called you yeah, up didn't he yeah that was they? cool yeah he's a nice guy what did he do he just gave me a, I think um, when you have type 1 you're in a in like a family like when you meet another type 1 you, you just instantly feel like if there's anything sorry I can tell them I need to tell them now um, yeah. since to avoid them learning later on in life and want to help each other out because you yeah, feel like you're, yeah. the, you're the select few minority that goes he's through it he's the only person that knows. that knows none of you guys none of the nurses none of the doctors that have that preach it day in and day out. They don't have a clue. They have to. They they have to have it. Yeah, and he called you up, didn't he? Yeah, we spoke for a good hour. I really it's recommended uh, this to him. So hopefully he's invested in that. Yeah. I think with his career as well. I just did a show on for um, Football Daily Soccer AM, and you were there, weren't you? Oh yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Smithy just. I told Smithy. I knew he was a type one. That um, Charlie been diagnosed and he just got a number and called her up and spoke to her for an hour and gave her all the advice he that's could. good of him so, yeah. Really yeah, nice. that's quality and frank as well yeah as soon as you called him he drove down from cambridge yeah frank in cousin hospital frank. with me for a couple it of is like a little exclusive exclusive club really yeah. so if, if anyone out there's got type one i want to chat to you definitely How send me I... an instagram message 100 percent. what's your instagram that. it's charlie charlie spelled with the e y but yeah the e is a three and dean D-E-A-N. C-H-A-R-L-3-Y-D-E-A. For the YouTube video, we can put that on the screen. we can put it on. Yeah, there we go. Big ending, really. But I'm glad it's all better and you're kind of over that hump now and then it's on to the next part, part two of your of your life, I guess. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's really warm in here. It is. Everyone says that. That's why I'm wearing shorts today. Yeah, everyone says it. But no, thanks for coming on. Cheers, Stevie. That's all right. Cheers, Doody Ryan. Most welcome. And thanks, Charlie. We'll see you again next week. This has been Jack Mates Happy Hour Podcast. Hit that outro.